Lieutenant, I have been dean of this academy for over 20 years, and we have never had a situation like this. Believe me, sir, I know you've done your best. If a student fails, we consider it our failure, not his. To be honest with you, I was afraid of something like this. We've had a lot of problems with him at home. Then you do understand we consider it best that you withdraw him? Yes, sir. I'm very sorry, Lieutenant. Just sits around the house and drools. Never moves. We love him, but a dog should do something, even if he just barks now and then. Hey. Listen. I'm not going away for long. I'm just going to talk to this guy. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, Columbo. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Well, I'm at the doctor. No, it's not serious. Yes. I'll be there as soon as I can. Right. Bye. Uh, that's all there is to it. Give me the booster shot in about a week. He didn't seem to mind it. Oh, they hardly feel it but he will need the booster shot in about a week. Say, how old is he? Kind of hard to say. You say I just picked him up at the pound. Huh? His time was up, if you know what I mean. Uh. I say he's pretty full grown. Kind of cute, isn't he? Hmm. He'll be all right. OK, Doc, thanks for staying open. Got these peculiar hours yet. Ah, no sweat. My wife doesn't like music. She watches murder mysteries, so whenever the concert's on, I work late. All right. Uh, there's not going to be any after effects, is there? Oh, no, nothing. OK. Uh, I haven't named this guy yet. You don't have any ideas? There's a name I've always heard, and I've never seen a dog that had it. Fido. Fido? Yeah, Fido, the Romans used to say. It's as old as that. Uh, it means, uh, I am faithful. Yeah. Well, roughly. Fido. Uh, uh, not too fast. You'll knock Captain out Siegel, the phone. Internal Affairs. Colonel Affairs? Well, what's wrong? Tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, on the firing range, or I pull your badge. I won't be gone long. All right, come on, you're going to run around now. Go run around. Wonderful. Why don't you do that at home? At home, he's always chasing the neighbor's cats. Uh, I gotta go to work. My wife and kids, they're visiting my mother-in-law up in Fresno. You don't suppose you could keep him for another week? I'm sorry. He demoralizes the other students. OK, this won't take long. Look at your face. You got ice cream all over your face. You think I'm going to wipe you? You're crazy. Wipe off your face. Look at you. Now, listen, I'm not going to be long. So when I come out, then we go to the park, and you get your run. Ugh. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, what happened to this one? Oh, just a little front-end damage. I rolled out the dents. Give me a break, would you please? He doesn't look like a police dog. Well, he isn't. He's a policeman's dog. Believe me, there's a big difference. Listen, do me a favor, would you? Yeah. Uh, would you mind keeping a dog around for a while? I'll tell you, he's no trouble. He just don't like to be alone. He just wants to be around a human person. He don't care who it is. OK. You know, it could be anybody. So just uh, unstrap him here, and he'll be fine. I'm going to leave you. But you're going to talk with this gentleman, hey, all right? He going to be all right? Yeah, he's going to be fine. Now, I want you to stay here. I'm only going to be a few minutes, all right? <laughs> all right. No barking. Then later on, we go get a hot dog, all right? No, no, no. OK, Lieutenant. Here's a tag that proves he's had his rabies shot. Now you can get him a license. Thanks, Tom. License? Gee, I never thought of that. 
Well, you better. It's the law. The cop will arrest you if he finds him. Right. All right, come on, dog. Hey, you got a name for him yet? No, I was thinking of watching him and give him a name to fit something he did, but all he does is sleep and drool. This dog needs a name that will give him some stature. What's his name? What, the dog? Well, he doesn't have a name. My wife and I, we could never agree on one. We just say, hey, or dog, or whistle. Doesn't make any difference. He don't come when you call him anyway. <laughs> hey, what a good puppy you are. What a fine fellow. Whose doggy are you, huh? Who takes care of you? Oh, good morning, Lieutenant. Mrs. Van Wick. This your dog? Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm afraid it is. He's always jumping up on people. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. He's adorable. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't say that in front of him. He's conceited already. All right, come on. Go play. Come on. Go find a cat. What's the matter with you? Can I have a conversation with that man? Hmm? All right, I'm going over this car here. I'm going to read the odometer. I'm going to be right back. It shouldn't be long. You stay put now, or I'll revoke your driving privileges. I gotta get my dog to the vet. Oh, is he uh, sick? No, sir, he's in love, or he was in love, with the Cocker Spaniel next door. But the family moved away, and now the dog, he won't eat, he won't sleep, he just lays around, and I can't mm. look at him. Well, Lieutenant, I'd never owned a pet, so I wouldn't know how to advise you. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, I don't suppose you have a picture of a Cocker Spaniel around, do you? A picture? You know, I mean, maybe I could tack up some kind of a picture. You know, something he could look at. Kind of like a pinup. No, really. <laughs> no. No, that's a terrible idea. I mean, a dog is dumb, but he won't fall for that. I mean, the dog would know it wasn't her. <laughs> Forget I mentioned it. Yeah, I will, Lieutenant. All right, now listen to me. This is only going to take 10 minutes, you hear me? So I want you to keep your trap shut, and I want you to behave yourself. All right. Hey, never mind that. There's people sleeping here, and you're going to wake them up. Now knock that off. Now you're going to have to be quiet. If you're not quiet, when I take you to the vets, I'm going to leave you there. Now lie down. Go ahead. Now lie down. That's right. Lie down. Atta boy. Now you just stay there. Just one more thing. <laughs> 